So the whole of Singapore has been trying really hard to figure out Cheryl's birthday, which if you ask me, is kind of weird and kind of creepy as well. And since I'm the founder of a learning center called Math Prodigies, which is kind of awesome, I thought that I would just give to you an awesome video explanation of how this works because I've seen all the other video explanations and they don't really explain it that well. First, let's read the question. So Albert and Bernard just became friends with Cheryl and they want to know when her birthday is. Cheryl gives them a list of 10 possible dates. I have no idea why. And uh, it ranges from May 15 all the way to August 17. Now Cheryl then tells Albert and Bernard separately the month and the day of her birthday respectively. But that's not where it ends. That's not where the weirdness ends. The weirdness starts here. Albert, I don't know when Cheryl's birthday is, he says, but I know that Bernard does not know too. And then Bernard says, at first, I don't know when Cheryl's birthday is, but I know now. Well, is that one smart kid or is that one smart kid? <laughs> and Albert then says, then I also know when Cheryl's birthday is. Now, assuming that this happened in within a span of five seconds, I think that they are really smart kids and they most probably are from Raffles. So the real question is, when is Cheryl's birthday? Number one, Albert says, I don't know when Cheryl's birthday is. But I know that Bernard does not know too. Now that gives us the very first clue. Hmm. You see, since Bernard knows the day, it cannot, I repeat, it cannot be June 18 or May 19. Why is that so? Because they are the only dates which do not have numbers repeated. I mean, I'm talking about the days. The days are not repeated. If you look at all the other days, the other days are all repeated twice except for these two. Now, why is that important? That is important because it means that if uh, Bernard had known 18 or 19, he would automatically know what? He would automatically know the birthday, the month and the day. So with that, we can rule out June 18th and May 19th. Now, let's think about why Albert says that Bernard does not know what her birthday is. Why do you think so? Because what Albert knows the month. And if Albert knows the month, he can know for certain that it's not 19 or 18. It means that we can totally know that May and June can be ruled out because it cannot be May or June. It means that Cheryl must have told him it's either July or August. Hmm. So let's rule out all the dates in May and in June. That leaves us with only five other dates. We are getting closer, people. Getting very close. Then Bernard says, at first, I don't know Cheryl's birthday, but now I know. Remember that Bernard knows the day of the birthday. And since we have brought it down to just July or August, it must not be a date with repeated days. I mean, it cannot be the one with July 14 or August 14 because he would know immediately which one it was. So it was distinctly one of those dates which had no repeated dates. So that means we can rule out July 14th and August 14th. We are almost there. Three more to go. Albert now says, then I also know when Cheryl's birthday is. You really smart boy. <laughs> Singapore, this is how we are going to find out Cheryl's birthday. You see, since Albert knows the month of the birthday, it must be something distinct. And we are only left with one July date and two August dates, which means that it cannot be an August date. Because if not, he wouldn't know which one to choose, which leaves us with only one date. July 16, 16 of July. That is my final answer. Lock it down, baby. If this was an episode of Who Wants To Be A Millionaire, I would have just won one million dollars. Kids, if you meet a girl like Cheryl, then I tell you what, you turn around 180 degrees and you run as fast as you can in the other direction because this girl is cray cray. <laughs> and with that, this is Cypher Result from Math Prodigies, signing out.